and now the focus is on the answer writing part. You have already some information, but now you want to uh, write down good answers so that your chances of selection become higher. It is more about that given the knowledge you have, what is how you can write a very good answer. That is a very important part. So try to think about a particular topic. I am specifically addressing the science and technology section. The try to identify a particular topic and then look at all of the aspect of the topic in how many ways UPSC can ask a question. Give everything. Uh, this is the time where you shine. This is where you really, really work hard. You uh, try to identify your weak points and you work upon them and you do not rest until that particular problem is rectified and you feel confident in this particular in that particular topic. Hello aspirants, welcome to this special session of Vision Eyes. We hope that you put in your sincere effort to clear the first stage of CSE 2024. Now comes the second and the most important stage, the mains exam. To cater to your preparation needs and heighten your chances of success in the mains exam, Vision Eyes brings you its advanced course on general studies 2024. To enlighten us on this particular course, today we have with us an eminent Visionized faculty member, Abhishek sir. Hello sir. Thank you Chiranjit. Sir, this is the most crucial period as students have already taken the prelims exam and are awaiting the results. So this period is actually a period of great confusion. Could you please tell our aspirants what are the most important challenges that one might face? Two things will happen. The first challenge will be that if you look at the cutoff marks, whatever cutoff UPSC finally announces once the exam concludes, you will realize that most of the students are very close to cutoff marks. I am most of the sincere students who have been preparing for last one year, 1.5 year or more than that, they are very close to it. So there is a, as you rightly pointed out, there is a great anxiety that on which part of the bell curve you lie, right? And this anxiety can take away some of your crucial moment because you have very, given the fact that prelims exam was already postponed because of general elections, so you already have very less time. And if in this anxiety you spend some more time and then you finally have your result and then you realize that because of anxiety you could not study well, so that will not be a good thing to do. So that will be a first challenge that this anxiety about cutoff, what, are, what is going to happen in the result and that is not letting you study, right? Second challenge will be that uh, now that you have cleared prelims examination, so many candidates, such a wide range of questions. The second part that your final selection fundamentally depends upon how much marks you get in men's examination and interview. So you have to recollect everything whatever you have studied for men's examination and particularly whatever knowledge you have, that knowledge you might have you know about things but now you have to translate that knowledge on a piece of paper in a limited frame of time. You have to answer 20 questions in 3 hours in all papers similarly to essays and to optional paper. So how to do all of that particularly with the focus on answer writing that becomes a huge challenge for aspirants at this stage of time. So these are the challenges, tackling challenges is very important and how to make the maximum the most of these 70 plus days. For that we have, we know the challenges, we can talk about the solutions. Uh, if you are, we have some rough idea that what cutoff might be, last year it was very less. If you are scoring more than 90 this year, uh, then I think you should start preparing uh, really well. You should give in your all of your effort, for mains examination particularly. And you should start revising things, at least start with the basic static part which can be done. You can focus on ethics paper, paper 4. You can write, start writing few essays because you already have studied many subjects. You can focus on history and geography, static parts. First, that will be a good starting point. You can, because just before prelims examination, students often do not uh, revise their optional really well. So this is the right time to revise your optional, whatever your optional subject is. And then immediately after the result, focus on each and every part make a proper timetable, but that timetable should not extend up to two months that what you are going to do in 70, 75 days. You do not have to do that. Make a timeline of what you are going to do in two, three days. That's it. 
make a proper timeline that in next two three days which topics you are going to focus upon how many answers you are going to write are you going to write a test paper if the answer is yes then when exactly so make a timetable for next two three days and keep adding new timetable for again next two three days and you'll realize that you'll be able to complete all of the syllabus uh, in 70-75 days so do not wait for the result give everything what you have for men's examination start writing answers as many as possible try to take feedbacks from perhaps you're among your peer groups also or you definitely can take feedback from mentors or your teachers that means coming up with a solid strategy is very important to have a trustworthy timetable now let's come to a course of which i talked about like in the introduction advanced course in general studies so what are the salient features of this particular course men's advanced course is specifically designed for students there is an assumption here that you have uh, you know information to clear prelims examination and now the focus is on the answer writing part you have already some information but now you want to uh, write down good answers so that your chances of selection become higher so this course rather than going into basics of topics then taking incremental steps in the completion of topic this course will themit choose certain themes and from those themes highly probable themes we will then look at that uh, what are the possible type of questions the questions may not be exactly similar identical but thematically they may be similar so what type of questions we can expect and then what a good answer should look like what type how can we write a good introduction what will be the main bullet points in your main body of the answer if it is an opinion based question what will be a very good conclusion in this question and even if it is not an opinion based question what can be an appropriate conclusion so lot of focus is on very precise preparation about uh, most probable more probable themes which there is a more chance of being asked in examination and a lot of focus is given on answer writing during the class and also after the class and a dedicated feedback on your answer and how your progress how you are progressing uh, throughout 10 days 20 days 30 days of your preparation that how your answer quality is improving so everything is together provided in this particular uh, module so now there are several crash courses available in the market how is this particular course different from the rest lot of things in many ways it is very different from things because it is not simply about going through list of topics and telling you that these are the points in the list. it's not about that as i as i pointed out earlier it is more about that given the knowledge you have what is how you can write a very good answer that is a very important part second part is that you have a dedicated mentor uh, you have your teachers and they are going to give you constant feedback on your answer and how you are going to improve how what ca- could further improve in your answer writing so that is a very integral part of the subject you have test series uh, part of the subject itself so you are also part of all india test series which is going to further enhance your knowledge and which is going to further help you in your preparation so in many ways mains advanced batch is different from other cra- crash courses available in the market now science and technology is a very important subject especially from the general studies mains point of view it is covered under gs paper 3 so how science and technology is going to be dealt with in this particular program there will be about 3 to 4 questions from science and technology so you can expect out of 250 marks in paper 3 you can expect minimum 40 maximum 50 marks of question in science and from science and technology section now in prelims science and technology syllabus is not at all clear upsc has given certain keywords but these are open ended keywords but the good thing in mains examination is that certain keywords are given so as a candidate what i would ideally do that i will first pick up those keywords and i should know about those keywords themselves that is the first thing for example let's say you have space technology you have biotechnology nanotechnology robotics intellectual property rights information and communication technology um, indigenization of technology these are some of the keywords which are given in the syllabus so i should have a good idea about all of these keywords as a starting point that is the first thing the second thing is that science and technology will be completely current affairs inspired so whatever most important developments are happening now there is a good thing in mains examination that they will not going to 
very small topics or minute details. They will pick very popular themes in men's examination and questions will be asked from them. So from ICT, what are the some of the most important themes? In space technology, what are some of the most interesting things which have occurred in India as well as perhaps in the world? Similarly, in biotechnology, what is happening? So you then pick those words. Few topics, for example, indigenization of technology. What does that mean? In which areas we require indigenization? Why are we not having, why we do not have um, in many domains of technology, why we do not have indigenization? So we can prepare uh, from public policy perspective also. And if you have some ready-made points, some data points which can be quoted in answer in a relevant question, then all of that is going to help you a lot in men's examination when, you're, when you are actually writing answer uh, in men's examination. So just mention about particular topics upon which UPC lays a lot of emphasis. We'll deal with that. But before that, as the saying goes, practice makes a man perfect. So what about the practice aspect in this particular course? Few things should be done. So you have to categorize the everything you have studied till now into certain keywords and then you realize that okay these are some of the important themes and I need to prepare them really well. So try to think about a particular topic, I am specifically addressing the science and technology section, the try to identify particular topic and then look at all of the aspect of the topic in how many ways UPSC can ask a question. If you can make notes, concise, precise notes in your own words, then nothing better than that. Rather than relying upon some ready-made material which is available in the market, if you could do that all by yourself, then there is nothing better than that. Take help from mentors, teachers, definitely, but try to fundament, try to finally summarize things in your own words. And then try to write answer. Uh, very rightly pointed out that practice makes perfect. So in the first 10, 15, 20 days, you just focus on writing good answer without thinking about the time limit. You have 10 questions of 10 marks, 10 questions of 20 marks. Assuming that UPSC will remain in, UPSC will fix to this pattern, the reason I am saying is that UPSC does surprise you in examination. So assuming that UPSC continues with the previous pattern of 10 questions of 10 marks, 10 questions of 15 marks, you get 6 minutes for a 10 mark question and you get 9 minutes for, uh, nine mar nine minutes for a 15 marks question to complete all of the 20 answers. So, of course, that is not going to happen. In some questions, you have more information, you will spend 6.57 minutes. In some questions, it will be 4 minutes also. But right now, when you are writing answer, focus on writing good answer and do not think a lot about the time limit. But gradually, as your quality improves, now talk, now think about the time limit. That I have to write 10 answers into, let's say, rather than 1.5 hours, I write 10 hours in 1 hour 45 minutes. Right. And then you try to bring it to 1.5 hour. And if you are writing 20 answers, then you can take 3.5 hours also, at least for the earlier tests you are going to uh, give. But gradually it should be 3 hours that you are completing everything in 3 hours. So before 2 weeks before examination, definitely make a habit that out of 20 questions you are definitely writing 18 answers at least, good 18 answers in three hour time period and try to, of course, go to 20 also. So uh, you mentioned thematic approach is one of the most important features of this program. Can you tell us from science, science and technology perspective, how thematic approach is going to help students to practice better? Uh, are you asking about important themes? Yes, sir. In this section, few important themes. In men's examination, it is easier to do. I, I would not say it is easier, but in men's examination, still you have more scope that you can pick important themes and you can prepare them really well. In prelims, because the syllabus is really huge, it is more difficult. So let's first talk about some of the standard keywords as such not necessarily related to current affairs. Indigenization of technology. You read more about what does the word indigenization mean and you try to figure out that in which areas India is not as equipped as some other countries, right? What is US doing? What are European countries doing? What is China doing? And you will immediately realize that some of the important areas will be defense, perhaps 
energy resources, semiconductors. So you read about them. What ails us and how that can be improved? This is a static topic. Of course, you have to add few current affairs bit here. For example, the initiatives taken by Government of India in recent times. So you can start with that. You have a syllabus, you have a keyword in syllabus written as contributions of Indian, Indians in science and technology. So look at some of the most prominent names in last one year which are covered in news and read about them. Then come to the topics where there can be current affairs based question. For example, let us say I choose space technology. So from space technology you should definitely read about, I was hoping a question in Aditya L1 mission about Aditya L1 mission in prelims, but you can expect a question in mains examination. Now that there was no question in prelims examination or expo sat mission of ISRO, these two are very important topics. In ICT, you can read more about the developments in blockchain technology or quantum computing or supercomputing. We have a national supercomputing mission. In biotechnology, you can read more about CRISPR-Cas9 technique uh, uh, or recent developments in gene therapy which is happening in India. We can talk about that. In nanotechnology, you can read about nanotechnology in agriculture has been in news a lot. So that is a very important topic. In robotics and if I uh, talk about robotics and AI together, then you can perhaps read a theme about how intelligent machines, how this growing automation leads to a challenge of job loss and what can be done to tackle such issues. So yes, definitely uh, do a thematic study in science and technology and you will realize that directly or indirectly it will definitely help you in answer writing. So now talking about aspirants who want to get enrolled in this particular program. Are there any prerequisites, are there any prior knowledge that we are expecting from the aspirants? Yeah, so as I rightly, as I uh, pointed out earlier that yes, there is an expectation that you have uh, at least basic knowledge that you have attempted prelims examination and you know enough to clear prelims examinations. You already have some basic understanding about many topics if not all of them. Now, of course, there are few areas which you do not study for prelims such as paper 4 you is entirely new or about Indian society or even disaster management you do not study in detail for uh, prelims examination. So apart from some areas which are not at all in the syllabus, so in those sections of course everything will be taught from very basics so that you have a very good idea about the subjects but in other areas like polity and economy or geography or environment there is an expectation that you already have some basic knowledge and now you are here to particularly focus upon improving or owning your answer writing skill. So yeah, there is this, I, I would, uh, yeah, I would say that it is a prerequisite in a, in a way. I think so, we have touched upon each and every aspect of this program. Now what are your final words to the aspirants? I would say that writing men's examination given the fact that few lakh students appear in prelims and few thousand get selected for writing men's examination. So give everything. Uh, this is the time where you shine. This is where you really, really work hard. You uh, try to identify your weak points and you work upon them and you do not rest until that particular problem is rectified and you feel confident in this particular, in that particular topic. So I request and I uh, urge all the aspirants that work really hard and these are the most important few days and take each, each and every moment you have to uh, give everything and you have to ensure that uh, you have performed at your best when you are going to write men's examination few, I, I guess 70-75 days from now. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words and your deep insights, especially your elaborate answers and guiding the students how to make the most of this particular program. I'm sure students must have benefited from this session. Now, dear aspirants, we hope you're going to make the most of this session and to get enrolled in this program, please visit our website. You can find the link on the description box. All the very best.